For centuries, humans have called on animals to be both pets and helpers. Lots of animals, not just seeing eye dogs. They live much longer than regular horses do, reaching ages of 30, 40, and sometimes 50 years of age. Originally bred in South America and Europe. And if you'd like to meet a pet that radiates optimism, shake the hoof of a mini horse named Midnight. I think he's happy. Happy. Miniature horses are great pets in many ways because they're very easily trainable. Mini horses are not ponies. Fully grown, they should not exceed 34 inches in height. They live much longer than regular horses do, reaching ages of 30, 40, and sometimes 50 years of age. Originally bred in South America and Europe, a lot of miniature horses live lives of luxury as novelty pets of royal families. But that sure wasn't the case for Midnight. Midnight was seized for abuse and neglect south of Fort Worth. He'd been beaten so bad that he cowered in the corner of the stall. Bob Williams operates an organization in Texas that rescues farm animals. When Midnight was rescued, his rear right hoof was broken, often a death sentence for any horse. But Bob enlisted the help of a company that makes prosthetics for humans. We put him in this boot and we actually had to duct tape it to his foot. Once he kind of figured out that he couldn't get rid of it. Look at him, oh, Midnight. He just took off running. And I have to tell you, we all started crying. He likes you, he's licking his lips. Midnight now tours the Lone Star State, raising money for disabled adults and children. And he has one very special fan in 14-year-old Lillian Nero. Yes, he is my friend. He's awesome. It's hard to notice, but Lillian has a lot in common with Midnight. A birth defect resulted in her needing two prosthetic legs. And just like Midnight, nothing holds her back. To her, Midnight is not only a great friend, but a constant inspiration. There's hard days when you get frustrated, but in the end, you have to know that you're lucky because, you know, you can still do things, and it's better than just not being able to do anything at all. Mwah. Girls loving horses is nothing new, but what about a llama? Llamas have been lifting spirits and helping people for thousands of years. They were wiped out in North America by the last ice age, but the breed survived and thrived in South America. And today, they have re-emerged more than 100,000 strong in the U.S. and Canada. They're easy to farm. They're very gentle animals in general. Come on, Rocky. You'll find 16 llamas at Mark and Bonita English's farm in Brevard, North Carolina. Rocky! They bought their first to be a family pet. They bonded with us. My little daughter just loves them. We take them hiking and camping with us, and uh, they're just part of the family. They fit right in. Mark and his son Eric, both passionate golfers, soon came up with a very unique idea to turn their family pets into human helpers. You ready to go to work a little bit? On come the clubs. Mark has made caddies out of his llamas. Today, Lightning and King are playing the front nine with Mark, his son, and Mark's parents. In the beginning, the golf courses in the area were a little reluctant to allow the llama caddies on the course. They laughed, and they just thought it was crazy. I'm gonna go a little right to left. But Mark says they became enthusiastic after he proved his llamas were well-versed in golf etiquette. The gunshot, baby. Llama etiquette's A+. Plus. We take care of all of our restroom duties over here in the woods. They have a really soft pad on their feet so they don't leave any impressions on the turf. There are other benefits to using llamas as caddies. They help control the rough, and you don't argue with them about what club to use. Go with a nine. While Mark's golf clubs are pretty lightweight, llamas are capable of carrying 75 pounds up to 20 miles in a day. <laughs> You should do your homework before you decide on any pet you think might be a good helper. Llamas need a lot of outdoor space and an enclosure. Some states require a permit, and they eat grass, hay, grains, and fruit. Miniature horses will need a stable and a field. There are zoning requirements in many states, and they eat hay and grain, and they love sweets. Ducks need a nesting spot near water. They're legal in all states, but check local laws. And they eat fish, grains, and plants. There you go. 
Pets 101 continues in a minute. What does this little girl see in these worms? 